Hey guys, Crow here, and I am going to make another quick video on Mythic Mobs. I've just watched the uh, the video that Awesome Dante put on, which is building a mob with blocks in Mythic Mobs. He's done this a slightly different way than me. Um, I've done a builder boss that you throw, and it uses actually part of Dante's code. So if I throw that down, for example, it places an item frame. So this centers the um, I, the you saw it flicker that it centers that block that uh, armor stand on the block it tells me I need to place those there then it tells me about the arms nether brick sauce I'm going to do an Egyptian boss so I'll place one of the arms it should tell me to place the other arm and it tells me where it's going to be place it like so so there's the Egyptian bit see <laughs> and then it should tell me for my head Dive. Missed. There we go. Come on. Come on, boss. Who are you going to be today? That's right, me again. <laughs> the um, blocks that are used in this can't be absolutely anything. You just need to change the um, mob YML to do the detection for different things. Um, I've got it so it instructs me how to build it. Completely optional. You don't have to do that, but wherever you throw the mythic mob egg, basically you, you build the boss there. It tells you where you need to build it. It's great fun. Let's do a normal mob. There we go. The scarecrow. Scarecrow, get it? Crow, me. Desta boss, me, crow. Oh! Ow! got me <laughs> yeah so many ways to skin a cat with this guys this one is using the same technique that I did in the first video except it's centering the block on wherever I throw it so it's using relative references and it's doing it all with invisible um, armor stance uh, Dante's looks like it's uh, constructing the blocks first then you throw a block at it many ways to skin a cat that's what I love about Mythic Mobs. There's just so many ways of doing things. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do, guys. So I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye.